We will now turn our attention to manufacturing the part, therefore we need to select a machine tool or in CAM terminology the post processor. Remember at any time feel free to use the online tutorial. I am currently working to workflow milling metric 1, selecting a machine. From the ribbon bar select machine. The left hand panel shows available machine tools or post processors. The right hand panel current kits, these are created in the toolkit assistant. Select sample mill vertical MMMCP and the toolkit named workflow mill vertical. Select next and set the mating location to primary component location. This places the part on the table and now the machine tool is loaded. Toolkit manager is found on the launcher. On the left hand panel we have families of parts and here we see our workflow mill vertical MM. On the right hand side and pressing this command we can see the tooling which is being pre-assigned. Double clicking on any tool will allow you to view that particular tool. Using the display functions on the top left hand side will now allow you to hide or show either the vice or the machine tool. Logically now, working along the workflow ribbon bar, we now meet a single icon, Features or Automatic Feature Finding. A feature represents a machinable characteristic of a solid model and you'll be shortly attaching toolpaths to these. Take a little time to peruse the dialog boxes. Observe the pictures within the dialogs which simply describe the functionality of each command. Hover over the question mark. You'll see context sensitive help. Ensure that you activate 2D pocket, boss, flat faces and vertical holes. If you select hole options, ensure maximum hole diameter is set to 25mm. This means that any hole greater than 25 will be found as a 2D pocket. Dismiss the dialog box and you will observe that the new features are now displayed in the feature window. Pick on any item in the window, the corresponding feature will now highlight. Double left hand click on the feature, you can inspect the information within that feature. Using the display functions to gain a clear understanding of the features again. If you have missed the feature, you may relaunch the feature find command as many times as you wish. Indeed, if you have found too many features, you may delete the feature. The feature now is moved into the bin view. Right hand click over that feature and you can undelete it. Therefore the feature is returned back to the original feature tree. We'll now move on and machine the feature. This takes us to the next section of workflow ribbon bar. This is called planning board.